Good day, and uh, welcome to the part one, first part in um, my tutorials for Unreal Engine modding. Now, in this tutorial, we will go through how to set up your game for modding, and then how to set up an Unreal Engine project for modding that game. And it is really simple, and if you just follow it step by step, it will only take you a few minutes. So first of all, what you need is the Unreal Mod Unlocker. Now, if you are part of the Early Access tier and you are watching this video, then you will have the Unreal Mod Unlocker Pro Early Access build, which will have a few uh, useful tools. So start the Unreal Mod Unlocker. I'm just going to turn the music down here. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to find your game. So for me, it's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Session. So Session is the game that I will be using to make these tutorials. Now, uh, where you want to patch the game, where you want to install this um, mod unlocker is a specific folder. So go to the root of your games folder like this. It will look very similar to this. And then you want to go to this folder, which you can call project name, because that is what the game is actually called, the project of it internally, session game. Now, then what you want to do is you want to enter that folder. You want to go to binaries. You want to go to win64. You won't have old, that's, an, that's a backup, so. Win64. And then you will see something similar to th this. You'll have an exe in here. Most of the time it will be called win64 shipping.exe and then the project name right there at the beginning. So then you wanna go up here and you wanna click on this right here to highlight the path. Do control C to copy it. And then you cannot paste it here. That's for a reason. Um, you want to click open. And then you want to do control V right here and hit enter to go to that path. Then click select folder. And then all you need to do from here is click patch. It will tell you if you put in the wrong path. And, um, but you should be getting this if you did this correctly. Looks like you are patching the game for the first time. Do you want to install the mod unlocker to this game? Hit OK. And then hit OK. Now, as you could see here, that installed a few files. So you can go ahead and close out the mod unlocker. Right. So it gave us a few files. Give us these. Now, this is the mod unlocker. Now, I'm not going to explain exactly how it works or anything like that, but I'm going to show you a few features. And uh, basically, all you need to know from here is that when you start the game up the first time, it's going to close automatically. So do that now to set up the mod unlocker, basically. So click, double click it, the exe, and it, you will get this message. It will tell you Unreal Mod Unlocker Settings file uh, missing or corrupted. Don't worry, we will create a new one for you. Your settings will be reset to default settings. Game will now exit to save your settings. Right, hit OK. So the game won't boot or anything. It will just close. But it will create this settings file. And this settings file is very useful because that is where we enable and disable features um, that are uh, either pro features or early access, so pro early access features. Right, so one of the first things, well, basically now your project is already set up for modding. Um, yeah, it is. So right now, this game, if I boot this game now, we can try to boot it. And what will happen is either you get a message that it didn't work, which if that happens, reach out to me. So if you're in the early access, um, reach out to me and on Discord directly. Um, and I will take a look at the executable for your game 
and I will, so you'll need to send me a few files, so I will direct you through the whole process, and I will be adding support for your game or help you, um, uh, help you to do it. We'll see the time I have at the moment, but after you have confirmed that the game doesn't crash and that the game boots up um, with the mod unlocker installed, when you know that, you can basically just close out of the game because then you know that the game will load uh, loose modded files. So in this tutorial, I will go through not how to make any mods, just how to set everything up for you to start making mods. In part two, I will go through how to start making uh, the mods and how to find the paths to where to put them and all those things. So I'm going to close out of the game. And now the first thing we need to know, because now what we need to know uh, or need to do is we need to create a project in Unreal Engine Editor and that allows us to mod the game. And I will show you how to do that the most effective, the best way that has the largest range of support for the game. Uh, so one thing you can do, there are different, there are different ways to, well, let me explain. So t to make a mod, you need to basically use the same engine version as the game was actually made on. Now, Unreal Engine has three different version numbers. There is the major version number, there is the minor version number, and there is the patch version number. All you need to care about is the major and the minor version numbers. All right, the patch one, the third number does not matter. So let me show you what I mean. Now, if you go to your game folder and you right click on the executable and you go to properties, then you go to details. You can see here under file version, you'll see a number 4.27.1. Zero is there for nothing, there, no reason basically, but 4.27.1. Now this is major version, this is minor, and this is the patch. When you mod, you do not ever need to care about the third one, the number one in this case. The patch version, um, all patches of a minor version basically work together. They, they all work with each other. So if this is 4.27.1, you can use, for instance, 4.27.2 to mod this game. It doesn't matter. Or 4.27.0. Just, yeah, just so you know. So this is a way for you to find as well the engine version. Now, not all games will allow you to do this. And if you are part of the Early Access, there is right now a tool I'm working on. There is a feature in the Unreal Mod Unlocker to get the engine version from the game. And to activate that, you go down here to Unreal Mod Unlocker settings.ini and you open the settings ini right here. Now you can see here is the the normal loose um, normal loose file, uh, load loose files feature for the free version, we we have the features for the pro version, and then we have the features for the early access ber uh, version right now. So these are things that are I'm working on at the moment. And the one we want to turn on right now is UE version logs. So type true. So remove false and type true. Save it. Control S. Or click save. And you can X out. And then you want to start the game. So when you start the game, you can just close it immediately. You go into the log folder, and then boom, you will have a version log. I'm going to grab that from, they always open in the other window. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this is what you will get in the logs. Now it will tell you the raw engine version, the whole, whole thing, whole shabam here. And it will also tell you the parsed one. So I parse it and I build this string out of it so that you have something you can use. This is for a future feature of the Unreal Mod Unlocker, but 
Here you can see the version, 4.27.1. Now, that means we will need 4.27 to mod this game. Right, so let's now go to the step, the next step in this tutorial, which is to install the um, uh, Unreal Engine editor, right? So t to do that, you will need the Epic Games Launcher, and you will need to go to Unreal Engine and then Library. When you are in Library, now you might not have any versions, you probably don't, uh, but you might if you're interested in this sort of thing. So what you want to do is you want to click on this plus sign and you want to find in this list your version uh, of the game, the one we just found with, um, with the modern locker. And you want to click on it and you want to click install and then install and yeah, you want to install it basically. Now, I'm just going to get rid of that real quick. Um, when it's installed and it says launch on here, you want to go over to the next step, which I will explain right now. And this is the third step here, basically. Now, what we need to do is that we need to create a project. And the project needs to have the same project name. It doesn't have to. The thing is, when you load, uh, load loose files, you don't have to have the same project name. But for compatibility's sake, for perfect compatibility, and for good measure, for just teaching you the right way of doing things, I'm going to make sure that, uh, that you learn to use the, pr the real project name uh, from the game. So to do that, uh, you can just click Launch for now. Uh, I'll show you how to get the project name. It's very simple. We've already gone through it, basically. And then when you're in here, you want to click on Games, and then Next. And then when you are in here, uh, you can use First Person uh, Project, which is a good way to test things and to see if things are loading and stuff. Uh, if you're more experienced, I'd, I'd advise you to start using Blank Canvas, a blank project. But for now, we are going to use first person. So click on Next. And then here is where you want to set the project name. Now, you need to set the proper project name of the game. So to do that, we need to go to the root folder of your game, where you have this small execu executable and the engine folder. And then the project name of a game is this right here. So the, the first uh, folder here that's where basically binaries and content is inside, this folder is the project name. So you want to copy that and you want to call this project session game if you're if that's what you're you know if your if your games call that if that's what this folder is called. In my case it's session game, but you want to copy this the name of this folder. So then you click on create project and that will then create session game right here right so let's um oh there we go okay. uh sorry i just had a technical hiccup but yeah so when you start this map what you can do is just build if if it says that something's not built some lighting is not built just click on build here and it will start building it will look like this. Um, and you'll see here building lighting. Okay, that is, that is actually it. We are done. Um, we've set up our project. We've set up our game. Everything is ready for modding. And um, yeah, that's it for today. We will be discussing this further in the next video. See you then. In the next chapter, we will be discussing the usage of U-Model, AES keys, paths, and we will be making our first mod. 
So I'll see you in the next video. And if you want to watch it early, it is available on Patreon right now. Peace.